Hey YouTube, um, this is how I made my 100 inch projector screen stand. So I got, um, I got four of these um, uh, pipes, P one inch PVC pipes because I had one inch uh, fittings. Uh, I cut these at 28 and a half inches um, and I cut two of of these uh, for the legs uh, that the that the screen sits on i cut those at 48 and a half um, and i cut these two pieces at eight feet which is gonna be the bottom then the top and then these two are going to be the then sides cut these two sides at 57 inches i have um what you're going to need is a is two t's for the side yeah two t's for the sides um two elbows uh or 90 degree bends uh and then two more t's uh for the feet and these feet basically make the screen stand upright. I'll show it all once it's all together. And then, and then right here, what I did was I just got some Dollar Tree uh, rope. Um, I got I got two of them. So one going this way, the other going this way to tie it down from front to back. I cut these at 11 feet. Drill the hole through the through the 90 degree bend in the PVC. Tied it off. So yeah, and then down here, down here, um, I shoved it through the the PVC, but I tied it off. There. And that's how it looks um, when it is all put together. So we come down here. I glued this joint, this right here, and at 90 up there, those are glued. Um, this leg isn't, and these uh, one inch pieces of PVC pipe, um, they're, they're free. Um, so I can, so I can easily take it all down. And the rope, since it is 11 feet, I can just easily just stake it down. And the wind won't catch it. Um, but yeah, uh, this is for a 100 inch screen. Um, yeah. I can either, either put the 12 inch speaker towers there or under the screen. Um, doesn't matter which one I do so yeah let me uh, show y'all the speakers real fast um, and then I'll uh, go inside them and show y'all the projector stuff so yeah these are the two 12 inch speakers. Um, these are 120 watts a piece. Um, and they are a four way design. So each driver, there's four drivers, has its own uh, signal that's going to it. And down here is a three-way, 15-inch uh, 
tower. Uh, but, and back here is another 15 inch tower. Um, as you can see right here, um, um, this is not the original mid range that came with it. Um, I just put it that there for um, just just so it'll work, but I have to replace that. Um, but yeah, um, this screen is the frame is easy to take apart. Only took me like not even thirty seconds or a minute or so. If I had the screen up, um, then the speakers and all that it would take me about five, about four or five minutes um, to. Uh, to get everything undone and set up and all that. But yeah, this is um, my screen. It's a hundred inch, um, uh, like a spandex material movie screen. Sorry, it's in a plastic bag. It just didn't feel like um, unfolding it. I'm putting it back in there, but yeah, got this from Goodwill for five, three, five dollars, something like that. But on Amazon, you can get them for like twenty, thirty dollars, and then and then um, you can see where the where the rope is. Um, I got uh, metal grommets on each side them. I got three going across, two going down on each side, and then three going down <clears throat> on the other side. So yeah, that's that. Um, um, this, I got a hundred feet of 14 gauge speaker wire off Amazon. I, um, Cut in half, so these are two 50 foot strands of 14 gauge wire, and these um, hangers um, they are they actually um, this is the, the Dollar Tree rope. Um, yeah, when, whenever I finish using all of the rope which is only 20 <clears throat> two or 30 30 feet of rope but still that's that's a lot of rope for a dollar as soon as i'm done with those i just use the hangers or clips for the speaker wire and it's good because i could just carry 50 feet of speaker wire just like that, or I could just carry a hundred feet of speaker wire, and it doesn't. And the reason why I went with fourteen gauge wire is because it is thicker. Um. So yeah, and this is the rope. I just cut it. To about a foot and a half or so. Now, just so I'll have extra, just in case if one of these ropes in here decides to break off or whatever, I got another one of those ropes. And in here is all of my uh, cables. I got power for the, for the projector, um, HDMI to RCA adapter, because. My projector doesn't have a HDMI adapter or a plug. Power, um, RCA plugs, um, um, chargers, PlayStation 2 cord. And speaking of power, I got a 50 foot 12 gauge extension cord and then a 14 foot 
yeah, a 14 gauge, yeah, 14 foot, uh, 14 gauge, um, um, seven outlet right here, um, that I got from my grandmother's house, um, years ago, so yeah, let's get into the, uh, DVD player, um, this is a Sanyo DVD player. I got it for free. It's just a basic, cheap DVD player with HDMI. Um, and I got this DVD player for free, but this DVD player actually uh, talks to you, which is great. So yeah, got this DVD player for free. And then uh, this projector, it's an Epson projector, got this for 30 something dollars. So yeah, um, you can adjust the focus right there, all these different buttons for menu, power, and all that. Um, uh, goes to the back. Um, one second, go to the back, um, S-Video, um, um, audio, um, VGA, um, and different pieces for the computer. This used to be for the <coughs> remote, but there is no remote anymore. I don't know who lost it, um. But yeah. But yeah. Um. Um. I will. Um. I'll have this thing up. New Year's. Had it up last 4th of July. And yeah. It's been doing great. So. Yeah. Thanks for watching.